afternoon, good morning, good evening. Welcome to Abundance of Love, Self Healing. Hi. How you guys doing? special guest on today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy and grateful once again to be here. And I'm just grateful for everyone that's tuning in. Thank you so much. As you all know, this is a pilot scheme. It's a pilot show, really. Just trying something and just trying to motivate people and just try to see what people really want to talk about. Um, what people like and what people don't like. Um, I'm going to be rounding up. This week is going to be my last week. Um, but then I need some feedback so that when I do come back, well, I will be coming back after a week or two, just trying to get everything together and get the show more structured. Um, so uh, when I do come back, I will have more of a structure of the show. And we will talk about, we'll touch a lot more issues and um, basically, you know, just talk about things that um, you guys want to talk about. Um, so, um, you know, um, I'm just so happy that you guys are here. I'm um, supposed to be having a special guest today. Hi, Danielle. How are you, honey? I'm supposed to be having a special guest today. Um, it's my nephew, his name is Shamil, and he's, but his car's broken down. Can you believe it? His car has broken down. So, um, we're going to try a little thing. We're going to try and do like a Facebook live split screen. I've never done it before. I don't know how it works. Hi, Cynthia. Hey Cynthia, how you doing, honey? Thanks for tuning in. I'm trying to um, I'm trying to trying to do trying to sort it out. 
I'm not quite sure um, how it works, really. You know me already with the camera. I'm not too confident with the camera. You know, this is all live. So whatever happens just happens. You know that, right? Um, so um, I'm waiting for a shimmy or two. Um, come on, come on the live so that we can do this split screen. So um, he's fantastic. He's doing something really, really, really good. Um, it's um, CMOS. Um, he's a young guy and, you know, he's just doing the right things, the right things for our body to energize ourselves. You know, we've put so much rubbish in our bodies over the years that, you know, I think our bodies have just started to reject. And I think now we have to get back to the roots and just get back and just take in things into our body that is going to be beneficial for us. Stop taking in all the rubbish. And I'm telling you, CMOS is one of the leading things right now. They've got them in all forms, but we want it in the raw form, which is the proper form. And so Shamil will be coming on and he will be, um, you know, telling you guys a little bit about it, how it works and, you know, what, what's, what's the benefits of it and that. So, you know, I'm waiting for him to um, come on right now and... Um, I don't know if he might have a little bit of, of technical problem or whatever, but, um, you know, we're waiting for him to um, to join us on the live. Um, if Shamil, I'm not sure, Shamil, send me a message if you're having um, some problems on getting on. Um, we might have to do a phone in. I'm not sure um, what we'll do today. But anyway... I know what I'm speaking about today. Today, I'm going to be speaking about self-worth. Speaking about, you know, putting ourselves a little bit higher than what we normally do. A lot higher, actually. Um, our self-worth these days are very, very low. And I know that we're all, all high achievers, all of us. No matter how you see a person might look down or whatever, they can be high achievers. We all are high achievers. And I think we sell ourselves short a lot of time. We don't give ourselves the props that we deserve, really. You know, we need to give ourselves a 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10. We need to give ourselves a 10 or a 15, really. Because... We're worth it. We're worth it. When you go into a shop, yeah, and say you're going to one of them shops down in the West End and you're going to buy some designer something, some designer trousers or shirt or handbag or whatever. You see Prada and all those um, Versace and all those people, you very rarely see they got sale. Do they have sale? I never see no sale on those things, no proper sale, because they know they're worth. They know they're worth. So they're not going to put nothing down. They're not marking down their selves because they know what they're worth. And you guys should put yourself on that platform. You're worth more. Put yourself up high. There's many a times where we could have done a lot more in our lives, but we always kind of felt like, I don't know if I can do that, you know. I'm not I'm not sure if I'm able to do that. But we are. We have to, it's a mindset. It's in our minds. And, you know, we just keep telling ourselves a lot of time, oh no, I don't think I'm good enough. We're all good enough. We're all made good. I'm not saying we're perfect because we ain't perfect, but we're good enough. If we sit down every day and tell ourselves, oh, you know what? I really want to do that, but I just don't know how to do it. Go and look about it. Go and look it up. It's never too late. Some people say, oh, it's too late now. I'm too old. No, it's not. Who said that? 
Don't you see they stop giving people pension early because people are living long. Nobody ain't dying early again. Nobody ain't dying in their 40s and 50s. You might have a few people, but majority of people are living long. So when people, they even put, put up, um, if you need to buy a house, if you want to buy a house now, get a mortgage. Do you know that, you know, you could get a mortgage up to the age of 70? 70 years old because people are living to 90, 100. So don't put off. Stop putting off things. Do things now. Do it now. Now is the time for you to do it. Don't leave it. Yeah? Because tomorrow is not guaranteed. And you don't want to live the rest of your life saying, oh, you know what? I wish I'd done this, you know. I wish I'd done that. Stop wishing and do it. Stop wishing, do it. If you do it and you fail, you know what? You have to take chance, you know. You have got to take chance in your life. If you want good, my mum used to say, if you want good, you know it's going to have to run. If you don't take a chance, how are you going to know? How will you know if you don't take a chance in doing nothing inside your life? What do you think is going to happen? You have to take a chance to be happy. Do you know that? Everything that you do in, your, in our lives, in your lives, it's a chance that we take. And some people like to play it safe. Yeah? Because you think, oh no, I just don't want to mess up. I don't want to mess up. But sometimes it's good to mess up. Because if you mess up, you learn. It's only when you don't mess up that you don't really learn. You don't really achieve that much. You've got to mess up to learn. And you think, oh no, I'm too old now. I'm a big woman or, a, or I'm a big man. I shouldn't be making mistakes. Who said that? Who said you can't make mistakes? We can all make mistakes. So we all make mistakes anyway. We all make mistakes. So we need to get on that bandwagon. Anything that you've always felt that you wanted to do, do it. Stop selling yourself short. Stop selling yourself short. You can do much more. Put yourself out there. Look it up. If there's something that you want to do and you're not sure about it, seek. Seek about it. Try and find someone that might have some information. There's so much on the internet now. So much that you can look up and find out courses. If you want to do courses and that, go out there and do it. Don't put yourself short. Don't sell yourself short. Don't act like, oh no, I can't do it. Or sometimes, you know what gets us as well? Nerves. No confidence. We lose our confidence. You know, sometimes when you get to a cert certain age, you start losing confidence. You think, oh, no, no, I can't. I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can manage that. Um, you know, a lot of you people just lose confidence. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I think it's society, really, that makes us think like that. I think they think once you get to a certain age, then it's all over for you. Society makes us think that. I'm not quite sure what's happening with the screen today. I could see so many people up at the top, but I'm not seeing, like, no messages. I'm not seeing nobody say hi. I don't know if um, Shamil is actually on either. I can't. I don't know if I might have to stop this and restart this again because I'm not seeing nothing. Could somebody give me a thumbs up? Or could somebody just say hi to me? I don't, I'm not sure what's going on with the live today. There seems to be a little bit of problem. But just give me a thumbs up to let me know that you're there because I'm not sure who's, who's here because I can't really see anyone. For some reason, the screen has gone blank. Um... I could see a thumbs up. I'm not even sure who's that. Could you just type and just say who's here, please? I can't. I, I don't know what's wrong with the screen today. It's not It's not working. But anyway, I'm still going to talk. I am going to talk. If Shamil is there, can you just send me a little message, please, to say that you are here 
and so that we can um, try to do this split screen so that you can talk about um, your product that you want to um, showcase to us today. Um, are you there, Shamil? I just can't see anybody. I can't see anything. <laughs> but anyway, you know, technical hitches, you know, what can we do about it? But anyway, as I was saying before, that, you know, we've got to, um, you know, respect ourselves more because, you know, it's like we disrespect ourselves in a way like we feel that you're not, we're not good enough. You know, it's not people that's telling us that, you know, it's our own selves that are telling us that, that we're not good enough. So for me, that's like a disrespect. We're disrespecting our own selves and we need to stop doing that. We need to be more focused. This pan pandemic, as I said, is given a lot of people more time to sit down and really, really think about, you know, what they're doing with their lives what do you want to do because you know right now we're sitting in the house doing nothing we're doing absolutely nothing we're sitting down like we're in some incubation period or something i call it some incubation period we're sitting here doing absolutely nothing but it's time for us to think it's for our brains to start moving and to think about things that we never had a chance to think about because we were so busy and caught up in the lifestyle that we had that there was a lot of things that was going by us and we just couldn't see it. Yeah. But now we've got that opportunity to take a step back, look at yourself and say, you know what, I want to do this. I want to do that and I'm going to look about it. It's never too late. As I said to you guys before, it's not late. Don't live your lives on. I wish I had. I wish I could have. Because it doesn't get you nowhere. You can do it. It's only yourself that will hold you back. People say, oh, I ain't got money. Oh, if I had the money, then I would do this and that. If you don't do certain things, how are you going to get money? Money don't fall from the sky. As some people think it does. There's a lot of people that live in foreign that think we got money on the trees, I think. But it doesn't. You have to go out there and get what you want. And you've got to ask for it. You put it in the atmosphere. You ask for what you want. Don't just keep it in your mind. Talk it. Talk it out. I don't mean talk it to people. But like, talk it out. When you get up in the morning, you've got to have some kind of routine. When you get up in the morning, when you get up in the morning, you lie there. You just give praise and you give thanks for that you're alive. Give yourself a routine. Just don't just jump out of your bed like that and just run and just lie down and reflect. Reflect on your life. So make your day start good. Reflect. Be thankful. Be thankful that your eyes even open. Because as you know, enough people's eyes ain't even can't even open because they're dead. You don't want that. That's not going to happen to none of us here. But I'm just telling you, in the morning time, get up. Be thankful. Before you even come out of your bed, just lie down and just reflect. Give yourself, even if it's three minutes, yeah, give yourself some kind of spiritual healing. Heal yourself by being grateful and by being thankful. And stop moaning because you know we moan about everything. Oh, you know, I ain't got this. Oh, you know, give yourself a routine every day. You get up, some people, because there's higher being. I believe in God. Some people believe in Buddha, Allah. You know, people believe in different, different, you know. But my thing is I believe in God. And in the morning, I wake up and I say, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for waking me up today. 
you know, it might be raining and you think, oh, it's raining. But thank God for the rain because the rain washes away a lot of the impurities that is around. Yeah, so when we moan about the rain, it's washing up, it's cleaning up the earth and it needs. we need that. When the sun is out, that's good because we need the vitamin D and everything, we need it. Everything that you see happens around us is for a reason. And we have to be thankful. We have to be grateful. And, you know, have a routine in the morning. Don't just get up out of bed and just jump out of bed. Think about what you want. Think in your mind what you want to achieve for the day. And what you want in your life. If you get up and you think, oh, this is going to be a bad day. Of course it's going to be a bad day because you've already said it. If you just get up every day and say, you know, today's going to be a good day. Today will be a good day. And that's what I try to tell myself every single day. Today is a good day. Of course there's going to be hitches. Of course things are going to happen. But you've got to, it's the mindset. It's all up here. And you've got to just keep telling yourself that, Good things are going to come and you want better and more things in your life. And so that is what will happen. So I don't know what's happened to Shamil. I don't really know what's going on today with the screen. I'm just talking and I can't see anyone. I don't know who is here or whatever, but I'm just thankful that, um, you know, whoever is here is here. And um, we'll, I'll try to get um, my nephew to come on um, at a later date, maybe in the week or something for you guys to um, tune in and see. Because what he's, what he's got to talk about is fantastic. It really, really is good. And it's, you know, we need to hear about it. We need to feed our bodies, look after ourselves, nourish ourselves. Once we nourish our body, our minds are nourished as well. And so, you know, we need that. So, you know, I'm just going to be signing out now because I said I can't see anyone. I don't know who is there, but I'm just saying thank you, guys. Thank you for being here with me. And uh, hopefully I will be on, not hopefully, I will be on um, on Wednesday. Um, it will be around about 7 o'clock, 7, 7.30 on Wednesday and um, I think that will be my last show for a while um, but then I'm gonna have a little phone in on Wednesday and just to get some feedback of what you thought about the show and what you might want to discuss in the future and then I can give you some more information of some other stuff that I'm gonna be doing with the show but I'm Happy to see you guys. I thought I can't see you, but I know you're there. I know I'm not just talking to myself. I know that there's some people out there. But thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Hugs and kisses, my lovelies. Hugs and kisses. Hugs and kisses. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you guys. Love and kisses. Me and you. Just the two of us. Take care. Bye.